All right, all right, look, I am back. Boy, I tell you, uh, <laughs> Lord Jesus, I am back, I am back, I am back. Okay, y'all come on in. Uh, come on in, come on in, come on, come on in. Lord, my internet just went out. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. All right, y'all come on back in. Boy, I tell you. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. But this thing, this thing, I know it though. What's going on? Uh, uh, what's going on, man of God? Praise you. Y'all come on back in. Come on back in. Look, we ain't, we ain't stopping. My everything that shut down on me here. This devil mad. Y'all come on back in. We we finna get into this thing. Praise God. I appreciate y'all being patient with this thing here. I'll, I'm just excited. I, I'm just excited. I'm excited. Y'all come on back in. Look, y'all hit share again. Uh, we back on. Uh, praise God. Uh, just in the midst of everything, my internet just went out. I mean, <laughs> Lord help us. But that's all right. Praise God. We're going to do this thing. So y'all hit share for begin, and we're going to go forth, and uh, we're just going to make this thing happen. Uh, praise God. We're going to make it happen here. Uh, so so we're going to get right back into this thing. I, I ain't bagging down on this. We get right back into this thing. Uh, look, so so we got to have, uh, we got to have, uh, can, can y'all hear me well? If y'all can hear me, uh, just, uh, just uh, hit yes or something so I know. Uh, see where we're at because I had to uh, do something a little different uh, than what it was. So I, I can't, so y'all can hear me. Uh, y'all can hear me. Just, uh, just put yes down there for me. And I certainly appreciate it. If y'all can hear me. All right. Yeah, y'all hit share for me. I appreciate that. All right. Here we go. Now I can see y'all. All right. Let's go. Let's make this thing happen. All right. Now, now, now watch this here because we got to have, uh, we got to have, uh, aggressive faith. Now, now I want you. I want you to see this because I want you to see the power behind uh, uh, faith. Because we in the church, we've just been uh, we just been confessing stuff, okay? But we haven't been seeing manifestation. And, and God want us to not just confess it, but we got to have manifestation. In other words, we got to have proof of this thing that we decreeing uh, that God can do and will do. We got to have. We got to have proof that it shall come to pass. Uh, not only shall come to pass, that it has come to pass. And, and, and see, this is the thing, and this is the element that's missing in the church. We don't have enough proof. I know a lot of times we hear, uh, we have uh, ministers come in and they, they talk about all these things that have happened and, and uh, different services, and we're not saying that it didn't happen, you know, because things do go down. It, it happens, but watch this. But uh, that's to set you up for your faith should be so you can pull in. Watch this here. Uh, when you have aggressive faith, and that's our number one thing. When you have aggressive faith, your, your faith should be able to pull out of the man and woman of God, or whatever you need. See, and see, we got, see, we got to operate in a different, a different realm. It's, your faith, aggressive faith, is just like a magnet. It, it grabs hold to what you need. So we begin to in the spirit realm. Uh, this faith got to be able. Watch this here. It got to be able to pull out of the spirit. Hey, God. And so if I need peace, uh, my faith ought to be so aggressive because of what I'm sad, I'm depressed, I'm through, I, I got all this here, but my faith ought to be able to reach into the spirit realm and pull me some joy. Lord, Lord have mercy. And it's not a normal joy. Watch it. Because this joy is not based on other people. This joy is not based on Somebody to do something for me or somebody trying to show me some love. Now, I'm pulling. Watch this here. I'm going to pull some joy. My faith going to pull some divine joy. Watch this here. Uh, that can't be moved or can't be distracted by people, places, or things. Because there's a divine uh, endowment that fell on me. <laughs> Boy, I feel the Holy Ghost on here. The devil ain't did nothing make me. Uh, watch this here. Uh, so, so now, if you're going to tap into the spirit of Ram, the first thing got to stop being average. Did y'all hear me? We got to stop being average. We got to stop being average believers. We got to stop being average uh, worshipers. We, we, look, we got to make things happen because the testimony in the church has become, I'm going through. And now we're 
through the most. Hey, the devil is a liar. Just start now, open our mouths and start decreeing, now watch this here, what God has done, and we got to talk about what he's getting ready to do, and you got to be so excited about what he, he's getting ready to do, to where when you talk about what is happening right now, and that's where the church got to get to, because the world is right now, is ahead of the church. Hey, Honda uh, but, but But watch this now. God says, I'm going to make a move. And, and I'm going to make a move through believers. I, I need some believers who believe me just for the believe in me. I, not, not just believe in God so I can catch some, I can get something. God says, I'm looking for people who believe me. And, and see, when we get to know Him, like we need to know him. Now when things happen, we'll realize is this something I handle or this something that I got to take to heaven with. And now you understand because now I have the type of faith that's just like a supernatural magnet. It'll reach in and pull me a breakthrough in. Lord, Lord help me, Holy Ghost. And so now that's the kind of, of faith we got to have. It got to become aggressive. And watch now, aggressive faith can't be denied. Aggressive faith, watch this, aggressive faith can try to be hindered, but it can't be stopped. Uh, aggressive faith don't understand, no, God, Lord, help me, Holy Ghost. Aggressive faith says it's the will of God, and since it's the will of God, if I have to fight, if I have to go through hell and high water to get there, or watch faith, I'm going to go get it, and then I'm going to receive it. Now, that's why the enemy, he attacks our faith. The war that you're battling is the war against your faith. So if he can weaken your faith, hey, Jesus, if he can weaken your faith, the less manifestation we will, watch now, we will experience and then less expectation that we will have and do an equal no manifestation. Okay? So, so watch what she says here in the verse 26. It says, Mark chapter 5, verse 26. It says, and has suffered many things of many positions. So she said, this is when the internet went out here. And now, so she'd be going to doctors like we've been going, test after test, and getting all these issues here. If it's one thing's another, and it's always some sickness, some illness. Watch this here. And then when we're taking medication that they're giving us, we end up finding ourselves in a worse state, a worse condition. But watch what it says. And she has spent everything she had. And was nothing better. She didn't get better, but she grew worse. Okay? So that means she'd been sick a long time. And each year, it got worse and worse. Watch, watch this. I want you to grab this. I want you to grab this. When you are operating in aggressive faith, we're still on point number one. We finish here. When you operate in aggressive faith, faith, watch this here. Faith will blind you. Watch this. I want you to grab this. Aggressive faith will blind you of right now conditions. Wow. So, so now, aggressive faith won't allow you to pay attention to, to uh, your conditions, your right now conditions, because what sabotages our faith is that we constantly pay attention to what's going on around us, what's happening to us, and, and what didn't happen. So we're so focused on, uh, on on things that's going on around us, so the enemy is using those things to distract us, and while he's distracting us, he's robbing us. So uh, watch this. So, but aggressive faith won't allow you to be distracted by, watch this here, by those things that don't matter because what has happened has already occurred. And so now we spend too much time on things that have already happened, but aggressive faith will, will, will move you to a place of expectation. I'm going to show it to you in the text. I'm going to show it to you in the text. Watch, watch this here. because I want you to see this. It blew me away. Well, watch what happened. Verse number 27. It says, when she heard of Jesus, came into the press. Why? When she heard of Jesus. So she knew where her answer was. She knew, look, I'd have been through all of these doctors and i spent every dime I had. Nothing has got better, but everything's got worse. But, but watch now. But when she heard of Jesus, but what did she hear about Jesus? So obviously, she must have heard about some healing. She must have heard about somebody being healed. She must have heard about, come on now, she must have heard about the blind man Bartimaeus' eyes receiving his sight. I, I don't know that. I'm just using, I'm just using uh, 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 examples in the scripture. She must have heard about the man that was at the pool for 38 years. And I, I watch that. She must have must heard about him raising the dead. She, so she, she heard some stories. 
So my question is, uh, uh, are we still talking about Jesus? Are we still teaching and preaching about Jesus in, in church now that, that we don't, we got so many people that don't know what he's able to do or what he has done? Come on here. And that's why we're not expecting for him to do anything now. She heard about Jesus. Watch this. Yeah. Here it is. Watch, watch, watch. Here it is. Point, point one. Can it manifest in you? And she says, and watch. And then she pressed, and she pressed, and touched his garments. Now, why? She had obstacles. This, this is why your faith got to be aggressive. She had obstacles in front of her. Okay. That's a press. That means there was a crowd around her. And her destination. Watch. Her destination. I'm going to show you something in the text. Her destination was to get whole by way of touching his garment. So in order for me to get my healing, I got to get to his garment. So, so now I can't have passive. I can't have, well, if it's the Lord's will, uh, I guess it wasn't his will because something didn't happen. Now, now we got to get out of this authority. Look, my faith got to be so aggressive, I shall not be denied. Now, she was already ceremonial unclean. So she was already breaking law by being in the midst of a crowd with other people. So watch the rest of faith of making that I don't care to get what I need. See, see, that's the kind of faith we gotta have now that y'all can talk to me right now, but I'm gonna get I'm gonna have something to say when I get my testimony because I'm gonna get my healing tonight. And see, aggressive faith will blind you to the people and the things around you that have you focus on whatever you need from God. That's the only thing. I'm going to lay down with that on my mind. I'm going to wake up with that on my mind. I'm going to go through the day with that on my mind. What, what, Not what I'm going through because that has already occurred. But what, what I'm going to focus on is what God is getting ready to do because I have a divine expectation. And so I'm easing y'all into point number two. I'm going to show you something. Uh, and, and, and watch this. Watch this. Watch this. I want you to grab this. Watch what she says. Verse 28. Here it is. She said, for she said, Watch this. If I touch but his clothes, watch, watch this. So, 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 so now, watch, so, so now her mind is made up, her faith was aggressive, that she pressed through the crowd. See, aggressive faith, number one, will not allow you to, to settle. It won't allow you to compromise. Aggressive faith will not allow you to, 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 to go in the towel. It, it'll pull you when you don't want to go. It wants to, it'll move you when you're ready to quit. Come on. See, aggressive faith won't, won't allow that to happen. And, and, and so, so now, if you're looking for a you can't go back what the doctor said. Watch, watch it when y'all about this. You can't go back to the doctor said, well, you know, you're going to have to take these pills the rest of your life. And uh, that, that had this here didn't make it. They only live two or three years after. Now, the devil is a lie. That's, see, my aggressive thing, see, my, my face is so aggressive. I heard you what you're saying, doctor. But 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 watch this here. But then, now, now what you're going to watch. I heard what the doctor said, but I'm hearing what my faith saying. My faith says, if I can just touch his garment. God, Jesus. So, so now I got to do what I got to do. I, I got I to gotta press. I, I, I got to break the, uh, look, I got to break the ceremonial law. Uh, because I, I'm going to die anyway. See, this is a mindset. Watch this here. So aggressive faith would give you a different type of mindset that would not allow you to be denied. I'm hurting all night, but in the morning, I'm still looking for my healing. See, <laughs> Lord have mercy. My family is just sitting around waiting for me to die so they can get all my stuff. But, but I got plans to live. I'm going to plan a vacation. <laughs> No, 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 go see. <laughs> Help me, Holy Ghost. Watch this. Watch this. I want you to grab this. I want you to grab this. Watch this. I want you to grab this. She says, here it is. She says, just what she said. So aggressive faith will have a conversation with you. Mm, Jesus. So, so what's coming out? Lord, Lord help me. Uh, uh, what's coming out of your mouth? What are you saying? What have you been saying? Are you just been complaining, mumbling, grumbling about how bad it is? And now I got to walk on a cane. I got to get a walker. Let me go and order my chair, my, my, my scooter. Let's see, see, see that's, watch this here. And that leads us into point number two is that I got to have aggressive expectations. 
So, so my expectation must be as, as aggressive as my faith. See, I can't have uh, aggressive faith and then have weak expectations. So, so if God do it, I'm fine. If he don't, I'm fine. Uh, we got to stop all that stuff right there. I'm going to, look, my expectation is going to get God attention. When God, uh, look, we know God don't sleep, no, he slumber. But but if he did, I'm maybe right there looking at him in the eye. You know how your children uh, be sitting over the bed, you sleep, and they stand over the bed looking right in your face, and you wake up. And that's how your, that's how, that's how aggressive your faith need to be, that, that you right there in God's face. Every time he turn around, there you go. God, I'm waiting on my healing. God, where my healing at? God, I need to deliver. I'm tired of going to die. God, I'm tired about this cancer stuff. I, I'm I got to pop all these pills. And see, see, watch this here. I, I'm tired of limping. I, I can't wear shoes because my feet swole all the time. I can't even play with my children because my back be hurting. I, see, you all be, your faith ought to be in God's face so much. Deny you. So there's an expectation. It happened yesterday happen this morning if it didn't happen this evening and if it don't happen tonight that don't matter because in the morning i'm getting up with the same expectation i'm putting pressure on heaven i'm putting pressure on i'm putting pressure on heaven i'm expecting god to move come in shadrach me shit and then go why wow. they say it's now oh king if I, God don't deliver us out of your hand, we know he was able. See, that was a divine expectation that, that they had, that, that they let the king know and everybody else know. And then God knew that to send Jesus down and get in the fire with them because their expectation got his attention. It was Holy Ghost. And, and so I got to have aggressive faith, but my expectation must be just as aggressive as my faith. So, 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 so she pressed in and touched the garment. She said, she said, she said, verse 28, uh, she said, for she said, she, watch this here, if I may touch his garments, see, her expectation was, if I touch his garment, something gonna happen. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shucks. See, she didn't say, well, I wonder he gonna call me out. Out of all this, I wonder he gonna call me out. Now, faith called Jesus out. See, see, well, watch this here. I told you, your faith, aggressive faith is like a magnet that it reaches in and, and pull out what you need. See, see, the, your pastor can be preaching one thing, but but you come in there believing God. Now, all of a sudden, your faith will reach on the inside, God Almighty, on the inside of your man or woman of God, and then a put out a revelation or a ring of word just for you. Lord have mercy. And, and, and that went on the notes, that went in the text, that went, they had to do with nothing, but but the Holy Spirit, uh, uh, watch now, uh, uh, saw your faith working in your behalf, and he had to send an answer. Interrupt the sermon, interrupt the, uh, the lesson uh, of the day just to speak and answer your faith. And, and so, so, this is what happens your expectation that I've got to, you've got too many folks uh, playing hooky from church, come up with all kinds of excuses not to come to church. You better get your behind in the church if you got to crawl there. If you, I don't care what, you better get there because she didn't let nothing stop her. She was already, she was spending all she had, she was already sick. She was getting worse, but she had aggressive faith, and she heard about Jesus is coming. I ain't going to miss this opportunity because I don't know if I'm going to live long enough to get back to meet him or whether he's going to come my way again. So I'm going to take advantage of my opportunity right now. And she said, if I can just get to touch his garment now, I got to get that. <laughs> Are y'all hearing it? We got shucks. We come up with too many excuses, and that's why we don't see no power. The Bible says, I, I got to hurry up a cloak. I got to hurry up a so we can get it in the deliverance. Watch this. The Bible says that Jesus could not do many uh, uh, miracles in his hometown because of unbelief. He only healed a few and then he left. See, that's why, that's why there's not many signs and wonders in the church anymore. Because why? Because there's not much faith. Because it's not being taught, not being taught. You should be, somebody ought to get healed every time we come to church. Somebody ought to get delivered. It ought to be a breakthrough in them. Sunday, they don't go stop. Lord, have mercy. Watch this. Here. Now, watch now. Uh, 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 here, here it go. Here, here it go. Watch what it says. Watch what it says. Verse 20. For she said, if I may touch uh, uh, but his clothes, watch what she said. I shall be made whole. So, so that's her 
Uh, uh, that's what we have, the aggressive expectation. She said, I'm going to be made whole. She didn't say, I'm going to feel better. She said, I'm going to be made whole. So her expectation was, if I can just get to Jesus, I'm going to be made whole. See, I can just get to the sanctuary. I can just get in his presence. Come on here. If I can just get a word from the Lord. See, if I can just get a touch, see, 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 everything gonna be all right. Uh, old folk, you say that just well, let's talk with Jesus. <laughs> yeah, we'll make everything all right. And so they had an expectation. If I can just hear the voice of the Lord, everything gonna be all right. Here it is, verse 29. Watch what happens. Now here come, here come the, the aggressive, watch this here. Here come the aggressive action. She pressed away and touched. Watch what happens. Because now she got the breakthrough. And the Bible says, verse 29, and straightway, that means immediately, the fountain of her blood was dried up. Mm. And she felt in her body that she was healed of the plague. So it happened immediately. Well, watch, watch this. The moment that she touched his garment, watch this. did not release the healing. The healing was released the moment, watch this here, the moment she believed and by her touching of the garment was the activation, God, God Almighty, of the supernatural. See, see, the healing showed up the moment she believed she was going to be healed. But she had to press her way to get to the activation point. And the activation point was her, her touching his garment. What's your activation point? You got to have some action. So I got, there's a place I got to get to. There's something I got to do. There got to be aggressive action. I can't be, well, I didn't, uh, he didn't call me out. He called everybody else out. She called everybody else out. Look, raise your hand. Come on up to the altar. Or get on up. Come on to the altar. You got to have what? Some aggressive action. Well, they ain't doing healing today. Well, uh, well they ain't doing healing today because you, because you ain't coming up there with no expectation. That they might not be ministering healing. So, so it ain't got to be preaching or teaching on healing. If I need a move from God, then I need to get up to the altar. When they do altar call, I'm coming. But I got to have what? Aggressive what? Action. So I got to have aggressive faith. I got to have aggressive expectation. See, and then I got to have aggressive action. Uh, so, see why? Uh, so what? Everybody looking at that. She was at the altar last month. Well, uh, last month I was doing one thing, but I got a new thing now. I need a touch from the Lord. See, see, that's why the aggressive faith is going to blind you from all the other folks, all this other confusion. Watch this here. Uh, uh, last thing, last thing. Watch this. Watch this because I want you to see this. I want you to see this. Then we've been taking it on in. Watch this here. Watch what happens. Verse 30 says, and Jesus immediately knowing uh, in himself that the virtue had gone out of him, turned around in the press and said, who touched my clothes? All right, so the crowd was still there, but so she didn't allow the crowd to hinder her. her aggressiveness, okay? Her aggressiveness, her aggressiveness. See, these demons in this time we in now are very aggressive. And so we got to be more, more what? Aggressive. Uh, we got to tap into this thing. Now, watch this here. Watch this. I want you to get ready because we finish here. In verse 34, Jesus told her that when she came fell before him, she says that daughter, thou faith have made thee whole. So it's going to be your faith. I know what the doctor said. I know uh, statistics say one thing and, and they say all this other stuff and, and it had nobody been healed this year of uh, uh, cancer running in the family. So everybody died. Everybody playing through. So you get diagnosed and all that. But let me tell you, we still got a God that heals. He's still operating supernatural miracles, see? But you got to believe in him. You got to believe. That's why your testimony is so important uh, that, that, that you share what God has done. And, and like we asked you earlier, if you have received supernatural healing uh, and you know it's true, don't put it in the chat there. Let somebody know. <laughs> there you go, woman of God. Aggressive demons call for aggressive faith, expectation, action. And that's it. Because the warfare against you is aggressive. See, see, we got too many preachers. They preach in one, one month, next month they quit. Where your aggressiveness is that? Come on now. <laughs> see, see, one minute you're anointed, next minute you lost it. Come on, see, uh, we, we, uh, we're not focused on, shucks. Boy, I'm, okay, let me leave that alone. I, I, I almost went somewhere. 
Uh, see, we're not focused because we're not committed in our heart. See, you got to have faith thing. You might not feel like that. Uh, you might not feel like you're the best preacher. It ain't about you being the best preacher. It might not. Uh, it ain't about you being the best singer. It ain't about all that. It's about you knowing you knowing who you are in the Lord. Let me share my testimony. Uh, back in June, see, it's been now, oh, Jesus. Uh, I think around about 2010, uh, somewhere up in there, somewhere up in there, uh, I ended up having a stroke. I'm, I'm going to share it with you. You look at me now, you can't tell I had a stroke. Uh, I, I had a stroke. My wife was at work. She was working there. She was at work. And that Sunday, we had main supernatural service. That thing was awesome. And I went home, and uh, man, got in bed. And I was fighting while I was warfare. It was warfare. I was fighting all the while I was uh, while I was um, uh, while I was sleeping, she gone on to work, and I literally can feel my face twisting while I'm sleeping because I was fighting demons. I know this might sound crazy to some people, but it's real stuff. I was fighting demons, okay, and uh, because I was fighting demons, and, and uh, they threw some powder in my face, and I blew it back at them, and and, and uh. And, but this 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 what woke me up. I heard them say, it's like a group of them, like witches or whatever. I heard them say literally, uh, he's stronger than I thought. And I woke up. But when I woke up, I was paralyzed. My whole left side paralyzed. I couldn't move. I just laid there. And uh, no feeling at all. Nobody there in the house but me. Lord, help us, Holy Ghost. And, and, and watch this. And so I'm praying, talking to God, and I finally got enough strength to to sit up in the bed. And I'm sitting there, sitting there, Lord Jesus. And and and, and where my, my, my place my wife worked at right then, you, she couldn't get a phone call, couldn't call, didn't know what to do. And so I was able to slide some clothes on. It took me a good minute. I'm telling you. And uh I got in the car. I literally limp drug my I, my I drug my leg and stuff all the way to the car. I got in the car, drove myself to the hospital. God gave me enough supernatural strength. I want you to grab this. And so I'm there, and then to contact, uh, I think another member, uh, one of the members, and, and and I was able to contact them, and then had her to call my wife, and then my wife finally came, and, and then I'm there in the hospital, and I ain't got no feeling. And, and then watch this, I'm gonna tell you now. <laughs> uh, I come in there, doctor coming in, talking about, uh, I got to, I'm gonna have to stay here. They didn't tell me I had a stroke at that time. Uh, uh, you, we're gonna have to get you a room. I said, get me a room. I said, no, you don't get me no room. Uh, I don't come uh, to stay in the hospital. I come to get people out. See, uh, that's my confession. Lord Jesus. And, and uh, I broke out crying right then. My wife will tell you, I broke out crying right then because I'm, I'm, I'm hurt. Because we had church. I'm tired. I got to get to the church. So they finally got me up in the room. Again, and then doctor came in. They told me what it looked like I didn't have a stroke. I said, Lord Jesus. And, uh, and, and, and now watch, watch this. Watch this. Show you his demonic uh, attack on us. Uh, the following couple of days later, my wife is in the hospital. Got to have a surgery right now. I'm on third floor. She's on the fourth floor. So I'm there. Watch this. I'm there. And I said, God, you got to get me up out of here. And, and I would tell everybody that came to see me. I'll be back. I'll be out. I'll be at church Sunday. <laughs> they looked at me laughing. Yeah, right, Pastor. I'll be at church. Now watch them tell you. God, God. Uh, healed me <laughs> instantly. I'm telling you. And the only thing that didn't have life, everything came back alive, everything straightened up except my foot. My, my left foot was still, it was still numb. It was just dead. And they finally let me get up after my wife had surgery, let me uh, put me in a wheelchair, took me down to go see her. And I told her, I'm going home. And uh, I said, sorry, I'm going home. And my doctor came in, checked the thing, and dismissed me. I went there, man. And I went straight to the church because we had youth church then. Well, watch this, I'm telling you. See, 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 God. I had a stroke that Sunday and by the following Sunday I'm back at church in the pulpit standing. I couldn't do much but I preached because I want the devil to know that, that it didn't work so, yeah. yeah so did I stood right up there and preached because my preachers came and want to know who's going to preach I said I don't know I'll let y'all know I didn't tell them that I was going to be there Sunday I knew I was going to be there God raised me up so I know what I'm talking about about the supernatural power of the Holy Ghost yeah. so, and you see me now you couldn't tell I had a stroke. Moving good. And, and then I told God, this is what I told God. I'm, I'm up moving. I got to raise his leg up. And I got, I wasn't doing no cane and all that little stuff. I was messing up my image. I, I got all this sex in here. So, shoot. It messed my, I told God, so God, you messed my walk up. I got my, my, 
cool walk. I can't walk and limping and all that stuff. I said, you're going to have to heal. You're going to have to heal the rest of my foot. And about two months later, everything came back like, man, I mean, God totally healed me. See, see, I, I, I have experienced the supernatural power. I ain't had nobody lay hands on me. No, if the supernatural power were God, because I had that kind of faith. I had that kind of faith. I had that kind of faith. I want y'all to grab this. So I want you to get ready. I want you to get ready. I'm going to take you through this here. And uh, this is what I want you to understand. You got to understand some of your sickness is because two areas. Well, three areas. One is because we're just not taking care of our health. Then number two is because of sin. Sin do bring sickness. Hello. And then number three is because there's demonic warfare. So those three areas are bring sickness. Come on now. It comes. And so we're going to deal with all this in a minute. We're going to go in now. We finna go in, so I want y'all to get ready. Uh, bless you, Mr. Bell. God bless you. Uh, uh, watch this here. Uh, uh, watch this. I want y'all to grab this. I want you to grab this. This stuff is real. See, I'm I, I, I'm sweating because I ain't cause I'm hot. See, see, when the healing anointing falls on me, I don't care what I'm preaching and teaching, I break out and sweat because my anointing is a fire. Because it destroys the God Almighty. Sickness and disease, and it destroys the work in the witchcraft. So, so, so I, I'm soaking wet right now, not because I'm hot, because the healing anointing is on me. God, that it will close hot. And so we finna get ready to release this thing. And I want you to get ready. I, I know, I know we, I, I, I knew we went over longer than I wanted to because we had had a little warfare. But thank God for it. <laughs> Watch this here. I, because I want you to get ready to grab something supernatural that's getting ready to go. Matter of fact, we call for divine releasing even now. Just get ready to go forth now. And I, uh, before I even go in this, I hear the Holy Ghost saying, now uh, those that got excess fluid on their ankles and uh, in their knees and in their hands, uh, is, uh, the heat of the Holy Ghost is going to dry up that excess fluid now. Fluid on the heart. And you've been having shortness of breath. You've been thinking it was asthma, but God said it's been fluid building up around your heart. And right now, I'm drying it up. I'm drying it up. Just want you to get ready to receive. And when you receive, they say, yes, Lord. You got to come into agreement. That's where that faith come on. Yes, Lord. And watch now. About time we get through, you got fluid on your ankles, your legs, and knees. And watch. You're going to look back down now and watch all of a sudden. It's going to be gone. It's going to dry up supernaturally right now in the name of Jesus. And those that have been having cluster headaches. You've been having serious headaches, and you've been taking uh, a lead, Tylenol, and, and it seems like it only go away for a little while, but then it come right back, and when it come back, it's worse. But right now, instantly, the headache is going to go now. It's going to leave you right now. Now, Honda, that right, 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 right now. Come on, that's going, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Come on, yes, Lord. Uh, and I watch this uh, because I want you to grab, I, I want you to grab this, I, I want you to grab a Sunday, they don't go see. I'll shut it. I did it, Oko Sando Roko Sa. Hey, God, Sande did it, did it, Sande did it, Oko Si. Handa did it, did it, Oko Sando Roko Sa. God, we release the anointing. Uh, we release the anointing of supernatural healing now. And the did it, Oko Sando Roko Sa. She did it, Oko Sando Roko Si. In the name of Jesus, Handa Roko Sa. I don't know who you are, uh, but but you ain't been able to hold nothing on your stomach. Everything you've been eating, uh, been messing you up. Uh, you've been been running you all, uh, or you get real sick, or you're throwing up. I don't know who you are, not that little cold side, but we, uh, God Almighty, we speak to your immune system, and we call your immune system to line up and come in agreement, uh, God Almighty, with your body, uh, not that, and we call the virus to leave you now. There's a virus that has attached itself to your immune system, and we call it out now in Jesus' name. This inhaling call for that. Watch. Uh, this inhaling. Now make sure you go to the bathroom, have a bag or something. Uh, have a garbage can by you. Inhaling call for that. Inhaling call. Watch that virus come up out of there. Find the Here you go. Now watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Watch this here. Now, I, I, I need you to help me. I need you to help me because we're going to go somewhere. I need you to help me. I need you to help me. Watch this. Watch this. I need you to help me. Uh, there's a de uh, deliverance confession of prayer. I'm going to take you through. Okay? And I just want you to repeat it after me. And this one, I just need you to do this here. Just repeat it after me. Watch, watch this. I want you to repeat it after me. Heavenly Father, I believe that Jesus is Lord. I renounce any evil spirit that has gained control over me, and I claim your promises of deliverance. I repent of every known sin in my life, past and present. I renounce every curse of my ancestors, curses over my life and over my family. Now, this is vital right here. I forgive. I'm forgiveness cut off God. Forgiveness not for the person, but it's for you. I forgive and release. Come on here. Everybody you need to forgive. Names when you get ready to start coming up to your head. I want you to forgive them. Come on. Come on. If you're, if you're one of those that got to forgive somebody, just put in I forgive in the, into the chat. Just put I forgive in the chat. Come on. Put I forgive in the chat. Watch this here. Y'all stick with me because we, we finna go in. We finna go in. Watch the shadow of the Come on. Uh, uh, every name come up. You got to forgive. Look, this is forgiveness is for you, not for the uh, for the person that, that violates you, did you wrong, that hurt you. Forgiveness is for you. Forgiveness is for you. All right? I need you to grab that. Forgiveness is for you. Watch this. Now, I, I, I need you to grab it. Come on. Just put it in. I forgive. I forgive. Go. See, you got to let them go. There you go. There we see. You got to let them go. See, 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 because you're blocking God. Unforgiveness cut God out. That's why Jesus had to forgive on the cross. He couldn't die until he forgave. Ah, shucks. And so now, and now we got to forgive so we can live. All right? Watch this here. I forgive and release him or her for their trespasses against me. Watch this. I want you to repeat this. Now, Satan, according to Colossians 1 and 13, Jesus has delivered me from the control and claim of your kingdom. Therefore, Satan, you have no rights against me. According to Galatians 3 and 13, I am redeemed from the curse. Ah, so therefore, no curse can operate in my life nor in my family. I break every curse. Come on, won't y'all stick with me now? On my bloodline. The blood of Jesus cleanses and purifies my family bloodline. I break curses by generations on my mother's side and my father's side. I renounce every sin of my family and its generations. Watch this. We finna go in now. I break all curses of witchcraft, voodoo, hexes, spells, and the occult over me and my family's generation. Now, some of this stuff you might not be entangled with, but it's just a family thing. We're breaking generational stuff. I break all curses of sorcery, divination, psychic, tarot cards, Ouija boards. Yeah, I'm coming at you. Masonic lodges. I break all curses of rejection, hurt, Brokenheartedness. I break all curses of physical, sexual, and verbal abuse. I break all curses of words spoken over me and against me. I break all curses of words that I have spoken. I break all curses of pride, disobedience, and rebellion. I break all curses of lust. Sexual perversion, homosexuality, fornication, adultery, and pornography. I command every demon in my life hiding behind these curses to go and to leave now. You can't stay. Watch this. Satan, the blood of Jesus is upon me, in me. And it circles me. Keep on repeating what I say now. My body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. My body belongs to God, and I do not want you in my life. 
I command all spirits of infirmities, sickness, cancer, high blood pressure, sugar diabetes, premature death, itches, and arthritis to go in the name of Jesus. Ah, oh, Jesus. I command all spirits operating in my mind to leave. In the spirits operating in my chest, stomach, or wherever, I command you to leave. I repent of any door that's open, that sin has opened. I close the door in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you for setting me free. Lord, I forgive any person that has hurt me, rejected me, or mistreated me, or even taken advantage of me in any way. I forgive them, whether they're my parents, people in the church, my pastor, people on my job, my family, and my friends. And I release them from their past and present hurts, and I ask you, Lord, to bless them. Heavenly Father, I thank you for setting me free. Thank you for delivering me, and these spirits are leaving my body in Jesus' name. Now, that's, that's all I need for you to do, to repeat that after me. Now, watch this. Now, I'm finna go to work. Now, this is what I want you to do. That's going to be a part, I'm going to tell you, inhale and cough out. Just trust me. Run, get you a trash can right quick. I'm telling you, some stuff can be released, and y'all finna get some manifestation. Uh, if you got a, a garbage bag or something, you can that, just get it on standby, just in case you have to throw up some stuff, some stuff can come out of you right now. I want y'all to get ready. We finna go in. Lord, help us. Help us, Holy Ghost. Y'all, we finna go in now. Hey, here we go. Now, you ain't got to repeat this here. I'm, I just want you to receive your faith, and we're going to call out some stuff, and then we're going to get some manifestation. Father, we bless these, your people, that receive the anointing on them. In the name of Jesus, we command now every unclean spirit. Uh, you done heard their prayers uh, that come out now in the name of Jesus. We done heard their prayers now, God, and we thank you for the anointing that's going forth. We command now in the name of Jesus that every spirit begin to come out now, every demon that's operating. We come against now the spirit of rejection, the spirit of hurt, a uh, spirit of woundedness, brokenheartedness. Come out now in the name of Jesus, the spirit of depression and discouragement. We command you to go now in Jesus' name. Women hurt by men, their husbands, their boyfriends, their fathers and stepfathers. We command you to come out now in the name of Jesus. Every crying spirit, every spirit of grief, Every spirit, every wounded spirit, we command you to go now in the name of Jesus, the spirit of rejection from the womb, whether it's from the mother and the father, we command you to come out now in the name of Jesus, feeling unloved, that nobody loves me. Uh, uh, we call you out now in the name of Jesus, the spirit of self-rejection, fear of rejection, inherent rejection. Spirits, we call you out now in the name of Jesus, spirit of, of sadness and loneliness. We command you to go now in the name of Jesus. Every fear demon, we call you out now. Da, 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 da. We call you out fear of being hurt, fear of being rejected, fear of people, fear of death, fear of cancer, fear of witchcraft, fear of hell. We call you out now in the name of Jesus, fear of abuse, a fear of being raped, fear of being robbed, fear of failure, fear of being alone, fear of airplanes, fear of darkness, fear of heights. If you are losing your mind, we call you out now in the name of Jesus. Uh, fear of uh, 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 fear of not growing in the Lord, of uh, not meeting your destiny. We call you out now in the name of Jesus. Every lustful spirit, we call you out sexual perversion. We call you to come out now. Fornication, adultery, homosexuality, impurity, masturbation, pornography, lust, uh, incubus, succubus, fantasy, unclean thoughts, uh, unclean dreams, fidgety, uncontrollable sexual desire. We call you out now in the name of Jesus, the spirit of guilt, the spirit of shame and condemnation. We call you out in the name of Jesus. I want you to inhale and cough out for me. Just take a deep breath and inhale and cough out. Break now. Now, uh, every demon that we're going to call out thus far, we command you to release now. Your assignment is over. <clears throat> 
In the name of Jesus, watch this here. Now we call and come against witchcraft. Lord, send your angel to sweep the house. Now in the name of Jesus, we call out witchcraft, African witchcraft, sorcery, psychic, Mazzani Lodge demons, occult spirits, black and white, uh, uh, witchcraft, ESP. In the name of Jesus, spirit of control, the spirit of domination, whether it's coming from the mother, the father, a family member, a people you know, we call you out now. The spirit of Jezebel, we call you out now in the name of Jesus. We take your authority and we knock over the, uh, the throne of Ahab in Jesus' name. In hell and cop out. In hell and cop out. Honda that it will go Oh, this in hell and cop out. Just trust me. This in hell and come out. Watch this here. Uh, in the name of Jesus, we call out anger, spirit of hatred, rage, envy, jealousy, revenge, retaliation, hatred of white people, hatred of black people, uh, bad tempers, unforgiveness, resentment. We call you to go now in the name of Jesus. Watch, watch this. I'm not a local side. The spirit of sickness and infirmity. We command you to go now in Jesus' name. Uh, asthma, high blood pressure. Uh, uh, sugar diabetes, hay fever, sinuses, allergies, colds, infection, viruses, chronic sickness, disease, heart attacks, strokes, and itching. I command you to come out of the body now in the name of Jesus. We call out pride, rebellion, stubbornness, a uh, stiff neckedness, a uh, sleepiness, tiredness, and weariness. We call you out in the name of Jesus. We call out addiction. Abundance, smoking demons, gluttony, drugs, alcohol, nicotine, chemical substance, uh, every demon that blocked you from the word, that hindered you from praying, from being faithful to God, from worshiping God, every backsliding spirit, we call you out now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we command you to leave now the spirit of insanity, madness, confusion, uh, mental problems, pressure, uh, uh, breakdown, schizophrenia, double-mindedness, every tormenting spirit. We call you to come out now in the name of Jesus. A spirit of epilepsy, seizure, of faintings, headaches, migraine headache, pain in the head and necks, unbelief and doubt, every religious spirit, every traditional spirit, self-righteousness, self-pity, hatred, lying, uh, seducing spirits, a spirit of cults and heresy. We call you out now in the name of Jesus. I want you to inhale and cough out. Come on, in helicopter out for me. Just a helicopter out right there where you at. Just trust me. Just trust me. I'm telling you. I doubt that we got to get rid of the of the demonic power and then now healing get ready to manifest. Sha de 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 in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your divine power. God, your supernatural power. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. God, now touch every kidney that's failing. In the name of Jesus. God, we call divine healing. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, God, heal. God, the E. coli. In the kid, the damage E. coli is inside the kidney. God, we call super but not your healing to go forth now. In the name of Jesus, we call the kidney to begin to function now. In the name of Jesus, God, we call that the spirit of infirmity, uh, uh, the spirit of sickness and death. We call it out now in the name of Jesus. And God, we cancel the assignment of dialysis in Jesus' name. And God, we rebuke it now. God, we speak to the immune system now in the name of Jesus. God, we call divine healing to go forth. We command the, uh, the immune system now to build up uh, the fight of disease uh, in the name of Jesus. God, we command now every tumor, God, every thyroid tumor, every thyroid tumor, God, in the name of Jesus, every cyst, we curse it at your root, command it to dry up. I want you to inhale and cough out for me. Hear the cough out in the name of Jesus. Excessive bleeding. We call that blood to dry up now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We call the spine to line up, uh, pressure to come off the nerves. Uh, we call Begin to circulate the secretorial system, God. We call it to function now in the name of Jesus. We call this spine to line up now. Every disc is out of place. We call order. We call divine order to go forth now in the name of Jesus. I, there shall not be back surgery. I, whoever it is, the doctor been telling you that you're going to need back surgery in the name of Jesus. God said, I just touch. I just touch your back right now in the name of Jesus. And if you the one that's listening to me, I want you to, if you 
you receive this, I want you to just bend over and touch that. Come on, and bend over and do something that you could not do, and, and you're going to see there'll be no pain right now. And I, that it'll cost high. And if you are watching and you're receiving this, I want you to I, I want you to put in the chat. I just got healed. My back just been healed. I was the one that he touched. Come on. I know the local side. In the name of Jesus, I want you, I want you to literally to get up and bend over. Huh? God said, I just touched your back. I know the local side. In the name of Jesus. Huh? We call this fine to get out of order. Come on here. Get out of order to line up. There's going to be an adjustment. Move up, you're gonna feel some pop in your back, and that thing gonna line up, and order is coming now in the name of Jesus. There's a divine flow that's flowing right now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Now, every clock artery. I hear the Holy Ghost, every clock artery now. What we command now, that blood begin to flow. We call the information that's in the artery to be flushed out. Huh? Uh, you've been having chest pains. Uh, no, really, you've been thought it maybe just a chest cold or hot burn, but, but it's the arteries that have been clocked up in the name of Jesus. Now, there's going to be a flushing. Uh, there's going to be a flushing in your arteries. Uh, in Jesus' name. Come on, come on. I want you to grab it. I want you to grab hold to it. There's a flushing now. And, and now, watch now. Blood going to begin to flow now. And circulation problems that you've been having uh, in the name of Jesus, we get ready to see. Now we call strength into the muscles of the heart in the name of Jesus. We call every leaking bowel to be healed now. The doctor been testing you and, and he been saying, look like that you having congested heart failure. I call for a divine touch now in the name of Jesus. We just canceled that assignment. You will not have a heart attack in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we blocking heart Heart attacks right now in Jesus name pressure high blood pressure low blood pressure we call you to order that you're going to replicate 120 over 80 in the name of Jesus if you don't believe me that if you receive this if you can able to check your blood pressure at home I want you to check it and you're going to see a supernatural move on your blood pressure right now in the name of Jesus I tell you there's a supernatural power that's being released right now I lose the anointing that's on me now in the name of Jesus. I, I, I don't know who you are. I, I call your name. You ain't got to put it in the chat because we don't want to embarrass you. But there is a, a divine healing for a sexual transmitted disease. I, I do the little I, I do the Purpose. I know they said, I, I shucks here. I know they said there's no cure, but man might not have the cure. But the Holy Ghost said that I, God Almighty, that I cured you right now. I'm your Lord God that healed you of all sickness and diseases. And so you got to believe that in the name of Jesus. I know that, watch, when you go back to the doctor and you have them to check you out, the herpes is going to be gone in the name of Jesus. I, I, it's transsexual. God, come on here. Stop. Uh, uh, the, the, the diseases that you got, you're ashamed. Come on here. Yeah, you repented of the sin. Now, God said, because you repent, I got to restore you. And so now I'm restoring you right now in the name of Jesus. If you, uh, I, I hear God says now, I'm cleaning the body of viruses. When it's cold virus, flu virus, and you got some bacteria there, he says, I'm cleaning your system right now in the name of Jesus. Right, so come on, by the stripes of Jesus Christ. Come on. Right, so, see, so you got to receive it. See, I told you, you got to have aggressive faith. I don't care how many pills you've been taking. I, I don't care. I'm not telling you not to take your medication. You go back to your doctor, and you're going to get proven uh, 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 records that you have been divinely healed. You have been divinely healed. Heal in Jesus' holy name. Da, 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 da. There's a divine healing that's going forth right now. Uh, uh, look, I, I rebuke that woman of God. I rebuke that right now in the name of Jesus. That your phone, I, we come against that right now. There'll be no phone crashing. There'll be no phone. Come on here in the name of Jesus. I, I, I call now that I break the power. Break the power of. 
They've been trying to sabotage healings. They've been trying to sabotage these men and women of God, these believers that's on here. We come against witchcraft now in Jesus' name. I lucify the Holy Ghost huh, that destroy the workings of witchcraft now in Jesus' name. Come on, receive that thing. Huh? Find that, huh? uh, that mind control break now. Find that rocos, huh? I break it now huh? in the name of Jesus. Huh? And God will thank you, God, that, that fire of the Holy Ghost. And now some of you right now, you can uh, feel like you're having a hot flash, but it's, it's the anointing of the Holy Ghost that's going to breathe on you because uh, that's a healing power that's resting upon you right now. In the name of Jesus. Huh? And now somebody got, uh, you got floaters in your eye. I don't know who you are, but you're having problems that like your vision is getting dimmer and dimmer. And it seems like now every time you go to the eye doctor, Every time you go to the eye doctor, uh, your eyes are worsening. Uh, but God says now, I, I, I call order to your vision. In the name of Jesus, uh, I pull the scales off your eyes. In the name of Jesus. Come on, I want you to receive it. If you receive it, unless you put it in the chat. Come on. Because see, your testimony, uh, uh, you, you got to put it out there. I, I, I need you to receive this thing here. Because you can't talk to me directly. Uh, so I need you to put it in the chat. Come on. I receive now in Jesus' name. Come on. I receive. It. If that's you, I want you to receive it right now. I mean, we're going to be surprised. It's going to blow you away when you go to the app and I think say, oh, your eyes have got better. I'm not at no side. In the name of Jesus. I, God, God Almighty, I, I feel there's a stirring uh, that shuts there. That there's a stirring. I don't know who you are, but you got pains in your joints now. In Jesus' name. God, that in the name of Jesus. I call that information out of your joints now. In the name of information just like having a cold and so your uh, your joints like it's got a cold in it and every time you move uh, it's painful uh, but but now in jesus name uh, we call the swelling to cease I, I shucks here god I, I, we, look look now, now the pain get ready move them legs don't bounce and move and watch you're gonna see no pain right there come on and if it happens i need you to put it in the chat let somebody know that the power of god is moving and touching right now god told me that there's gonna be a miracle on this line and he did this said a miracle, it would be a miracle. Somebody is going to get a divine touch. And you just receive. And we cut off all distractions from around you. Come on, I want you to put it in the chat. Help me, Holy Ghost. With a spoon, we call shot. We rebuke that demon in the name of Jesus. Let's refresh your phone, baby. But because you have, that, that means the enemy is trying to block something. Some get a God Almighty. In the name of Jesus. The, the spirit of weariness and tiredness, I call for a refreshing. Uh, uh, God Almighty to fall upon you. God said, I'm going to remove the burden. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take your heavy burden, and I'm going to give you my burden, for they are light in Jesus' name. And I speak to your pancreas in the name of Jesus. Every filter in your body, I call for your liver to be cleansed, uh, uh, your lip nose to be clean. Uh, got them sinus issues, and, and always sinus infection. I call it to instantly to clear up right now in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I call it right now. In Jesus' name, I, I, I hear the Holy Ghost, God Almighty. I don't know who it is. I, I don't know. I don't know if you, God Almighty. I, I don't know uh, uh, what kind of what kind of issues you've been, and how long you've been having it. But, but I heard the Holy Ghost says uh, uh, there's an ailment in your stomach area that you've been having for a long time. You've been kind of taking medication, over the counter stuff, and, and it's just like it's just an ache in there uh, all the time. And well, watch this here. I'm gonna show, show you how you know who it is because because the devil been trying to talk to you and say you probably got you got some cancer going on. But I rebuke that lie in the name of Jesus. I shine the We rebuke that now in the name of Jesus. Uh, it's not cancer. I'm not a local side. God said it's an infection, and we call it an infection out now in Jesus' name. We call it infection out now in Jesus' name. And I call it out now. We call for a cleansing to go forward. Inhale and cough out. 
I watch, there's going to be some kind of black and green stuff that's going to come out. I inhale and cough out and because the infection is leading right now. I don't know who uh, somebody got hip uh, problems. You got, uh, you got, uh, your, your, your hip is hurt. It's like it's out of place or what have you. Uh, uh, you might be on a cane. Uh, 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 they've been talking about getting your cane or you've been talking about going to the drugstore and get you a cane or something. Uh, help me, Holy Ghost. But God said not so. He says what has happened is Get your hip just to slip out of place just a little bit. So I, I now watch. I told you we got to have what aggressive faith, and you got to have aggressive expectation. And, and so, so watch this here, an aggressive action. So I need you to take take that aggressiveness, and, and I want you to decide that your hip is. I want you to I want you to be in the opposite way. Come on, I want you to stay as straight as possible and be in the opposite way and, and try and try to try to go over as far as you can and then just straighten back up. And when you do that, uh, uh, it's gonna pop back in place. I uh, help me, Holy Ghost. And it's gonna be a little painful at first because their nerve been pinched. And, and see, now you've been having pain coming all the way down, and sometimes it's hard for you to walk. And what it is, uh, it is it, it's it's the lower back. Lord help me, Holy Ghost. And really not your, it, that pain is coming from your lower back. Because the nerve is being pinched. And God, God said, now I'm, I'm going to call some divine order. Come on here. And, and so now you just got to shift. And, and watch this. And, and watch what's going to happen. And you're going gonna to pain it first. Then we do it again. The pain going to be gone. Help, help me, Holy Ghost. Have, have any, Lord, help me. Have, have anybody in here, I ain't been watching the chat, but, but has anybody in here experienced any kind of touch? I need y'all to talk to me. If God didn't touch you, uh, uh, come on here. The doctor, no, baby. Uh, 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 she ain't gonna get no, no replay. No, come on here. But, uh, God Almighty, uh, uh, we ain't gonna have that in Jesus' name because that, that's a divine release. There's a divine release going forth now. Well, well uh, I know what it is. It's some witchcraft. Shine that it'll go side. I break the power of witchcraft now. Every blinding spirit, help me, Holy Ghost. Every blinding spirit, we call you out now in Jesus' name. Uh, come on, if you don't receive a touch, I just need, I just need for somebody here. If you know God didn't touch you on something, God didn't call out. I just need you to put it in there. And let, uh, let me know that God had touched me. My pain is gone or whatever. If you're swelling, I, I know, and I got by at least about three people that's watching. They got problems with fluid. I, come on. I, now, I'm telling you, your fluid is drying up now. It is drying up right now. Uh, right, right, uh, right, right now in the name of Jesus. Right now in the name. Don't be shamed. See, that's why there's no power uh, that's manifesting because we won't tell it. We won't share it. Come on here. We won't let nobody know because we are shamed. Look, you better give God glory because see, when the glory comes, the manifestation, like God Almighty, uh, it'll go buck wild and it'll start touching everything else that you hadn't told God about, but he knows that you have need of it. Yep, the Holy Ghost. And then they don't go see. Ah, they don't go see. All right, uh, we got Alan says her uh, uh, shucks here. Uh, God, uh, uh, we got Alan said her lungs just cleared up. Praise God. We got uh, Grace said uh, uh, God didn't trust her. See, see, see these, I'm telling you, watch this here. Watch this. I don't know who you are, but you got some heaviness on you. That they don't go see. Like depression. Ah, shucks here. And, and I command that com depression to leave now. And I loose the joy of the Lord that's going to come in, that's going to remove the burden. We call the burden to leave now in Jesus' name. We call the burden to leave right now in Jesus' name. Da 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 and that it'll go side. Uh, just three more minutes and we're gonna be through here. Yeah. Nine o'clock, we're gonna be through. I got I got just obey the Holy Ghost. Uh, I shut there. And the it go side. I gotta obey the Holy Ghost. And the it go side. I got a might. I shit it'll go see. That it'll go side. That it'll go see. And that it 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 shit it'll go side. In the name of Jesus. And the it'll go side. And I don't know who you are, but in the back of your neck, in the back of your neck, there, there's pain. And, and 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 watch this. You've been saying, well, probably because I've been I, I've been sleeping wrong, had my pillow ball up, and I'm, that could be the case, but that's not what it is. Uh, that, that's not what it is. Ha, shucks. I, I did a real cool side. That that's not what it is. Uh, uh, God says that's uh, that that's a pinched nerve there. Ah, shucks. Help me, Holy Ghost. But but, but he says, uh, watch it. He says uh, he says I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. Uh, it's almost like you can just watch my hand, like my hand is getting ready to uh, put my hand on your head. And I want you to move your head according to the direction that I move my hand that you see on the camera. And, and you're going to feel a, a little popping back there. And, and it's going to take the pressure off that nerve that's in the back of your neck. Lord, have mercy. Watch. 
Uh, well, watch this now. I want you just to move your head uh, according to my hand. I'm moving it this way. Just move it. And then I want you to put it back in place. Huh? Just like that. Ah, he the Roko side. We're going to do it. And we're going to do it the other side. We're going to move it. Now watch now. Just and put it back in place. Ah, now I want you to just move back. Hold your head back. And then bring it down. You're going to feel it pop back in place. Ah, the Roko. And then the pain just instantly going to leave. She the Roko side. You really can see. Ah, help, help me, Holy Ghost. Ah, the Roko side. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God, God, remove your power. Watch, watch this. Watch this. We, we finna go in it. See? Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> See? Oh, my God. I know you're going to get on back in now. Watch this here. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. In the name of Jesus, we command. Watch this. Here. I'm, I'm, I'm a bold. I'm a bold preacher. In Jesus, because I haven't seen it happen. In the name of Jesus, we command every cancer cell to dry up. In it. Uh, I just said uh, every cancer cell, we command you to dry up now in Jesus' name. Uh, we call out the spirit of infirmity. We call out the spirit of sickness and death in Jesus. We call it out now in Jesus' name. And uh, see, because we got to call out the death because that's an assignment. And then that infirmity keep you weak. But we call the uh, cancer cells to dry up now. We call the blood to be transferred out of might. We call for a transfusion from heaven. The blood of Jesus to go forth and flush your system out in Jesus' name. And we call every cancer tumor God Almighty to uh, God, watch this. We put it in captivity and we command it to dissolve now. We call it to melt in Jesus' name. And watch, watch, watch now, your blood count don't go up. In Jesus' name, strength gonna come back. Your color in your skin gonna come back. In Jesus' name, we call divine wholeness to go forth for right now. In Jesus' name, yeah, yeah, in Jesus' name. Uh, 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 look, every lump in the breast, we call it to melt now in Jesus' name. Number one, I don't know who you are, uh, uh, but but watch, you can get a mammogram. You get ready to go do a mammogram and, and watch now. They're going to, uh, shucks here. And, and you already been feeling, because you've been doing the self-exam, and, and been feeling like you feel a little something there. But God said not to worry, because it's not, number one, is not cancerous. And then he says, I'm going to dissolve it right now, supernaturally. It's going to dissolve. Uh, watch, watch, next time you, watch, next time you check it. Uh, watch it. Uh, you can, if you in your home, privacy your home, you can go and check it now. Watch that lump is going to be gone. I don't know who you are, uh, but God Almighty. But he says it's going to leave now. It's going to leave right now. Uh, come, come on here. Uh, uh, come. Testify that you got to do it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of, uh, of Jesus. Uh, uh, watch this now. Now, I got to get a little graphic, uh, uh, but, but but watch this. Because I'm just real like this here. I don't know who you are. You ain't got to put it in the chat. You can just put yes, Lord, or whatever. All this here. Look, uh, uh, you've been having female issues. You've been having female issues. And you've been having excessive uh, bleeding. Your cycle is all out of order. At uh, one minute, you uh, you regular. Sometimes you miss two or three months. And then sometimes you just bleed for uh, uh, two or three weeks at a time. And, and and there has been a time. Watch this. Last year, last year, there was a time you bled. Uh, so you know you the one huh, that you bled three months straight. Shucks. And, and man, Lord have mercy. Three months straight. And you just constant. And, and, and then watch this. Uh, but God says. Uh, just like the woman that eats your blood, he says, he says, because you was faithful and you was committed enough to get on here tonight, he says, I'm finna dry the blood up right now. I'm finna, I'm finna, I'm finna dry it up right now. It's finna dry up right now. Yeah, it's an excessive bleeding. Shucks. In Jesus' name, he says, I'm drying it up now. Just because you made it on this broadcast tonight, I'm, I, uh, yes, I am. I'm drying it up now in Jesus' name. What? Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. What, what, what's this? I, I don't know who you are, but he says that, that you've been having problems uh, with your weight. Uh, he says it, it's not that you're eating too much. He said it's thyroid. Jesus. Uh, it shucks. 
Uh, they, they don't cause sight. He says it's a thyroid problem. He says right now I'm going to heal your thyroids. Huh? I'm going to call a cleansing to go forward because it, what it's doing uh, is blocking fat, it's storing fat, and, and now it's hard for you to lose weight. But everything is almost like anything you eat, you gain weight. It's a thyroid problem. And in the name of Jesus, he said, divinely now, I'm healing your thyroids in Jesus' name. And then you're going to be able to lose weight. It's not going to be a sickly weight. It's going to be a healthy weight loss in Jesus' name. Come on, just receive it. If you got thyroid issues, that tonight is your night because you made it here tonight. In the name of Jesus. Yep, yep, yep. Come on, come on. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Come on here. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I'm da 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 see. Uh, uh, I call I call shame to be broken right now. Shame. I don't know who you are, but I call shame to be broken off you right now. I'm da 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 In the name of Jesus. I, I, yeah, yeah. You're ashamed of your appearance. Uh, yes, you are. I rebuke that now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Uh, in Jesus' name. I, I just heard the Holy Ghost say that. In Jesus' name. Come on. We got to be aggressive. In our faith, in our expectation, and our action, but you can apply this to everything. Ah, Jesus, watch this. If you got any pain on your body, thank you, God. You got any pain in your body, just lay your hand right there and just inhale and cough out. Just, just, just inhale and cough out. You got any pain, any pain in your body, just inhale and cough out. We finna wrap it up. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Ah, uh, Lord have mercy. Jesus. Jesus. Mm, it is. Come on. Just inhale and cough it out. I, I know. Why well, I got to do all that? Ah, Jesus. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And, and, and watch. Now, uh, this is what I want you to do. Uh, even tomorrow, some old night, I want y'all come back to this page. If you uh, the, uh, you felt the manifestation, God told me, God ain't never lied to me. And I know we got something to testify that's been touched and and, and, and the lawn's been cleared and probably have some more. But watch, watch this. Uh, there, there are some things, uh, there are some things that's still going to manifest. And I want you to be, I want you to be prepared to give God glory. But because, see, the praise is important uh, because it increases your faith, but also increases uh, others' faith. I know we had a little warfare going on here. I couldn't get on, and then they missed with the cutoff. Can't on see all the distractions from the end. All that's just signs, and just signs that this was a dang by God, and He was trying to distract. And I appreciate you all. They did get back on. I know we had almost about 17, 20 people that, that was jumped on then, but when we lost, when we went lost, everything, and everything just went out. I know everything kind of uh, 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 dropped off. But I appreciate you all that that hung in here. Praise God. Then the rest of them get to the replay. I, I, I want you, uh, more was released than you realize. See, I'm, I'm telling you uh, that, uh, that I can feel the healing still releasing from me. Yeah, releasing from me. Now, I might not call out everything. I don't call out what the Holy Spirit gave me at that moment. But see, when I took y'all through that prayer, see, more released. See, we had to break curses first. We had to break stuff first. And get rid of the demonic influence. And then now we can call stuff out, stuff out. More happen for you than you realize. You just don't realize it yet. Uh, when things calm down, settle down. Watch. Watch all of a sudden. You're going to start feeling the difference in your body. Some of the things that you've been dealing with, you've been medicating. You are not going to have to medicate it. Because God, watch. Watch what I'm telling you. Shucks. Especially on whoever you are. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I, I, I just feel it. on Because see, I can feel things in my body. Whoever you are, they've been suffering with, with back pains. I don't know who you are. Lord, have mercy. Uh, but tonight is your night. Uh, yeah, tonight is not now, but you got to grab it with your faith. Remember, your faith uh, is just like a magnet. Go in the spirit ram and pull out what you need. It's just attached to it. So so grab hold to it. Uh, divine healing. Divine, divine healing. Divine healing. Uh, supernatural healing has gone forth. And I want you to receive. 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 I want you to receive tonight. I'm dead ready to sick. We're going to get ready uh, to, to get off here. Look, I appreciate all of you. We're going to pray. I'm gonna, uh, I am I just want to share a few things with you. Then we're going to pray. And then we're going to, uh, then we're going to, uh, we'll come back, a, come back a later. All right. Look, I, I appreciate you all for trusting in me. Give me an opportunity to in spite of. Uh, in spite of distractions, 
See, that stuff don't bother me. Been doing this thing a long time. Been doing this thing a long time. I'm telling you, uh, distractions, all it does confirm what God has ordained. Because when the enemy tries to stop anything, so y'all stay encouraged. Anytime the enemy is trying to stop you, hinder you for whatever you're doing, you know, especially you're obedient to God, that you're heading in the right direction. Because we'll do this again. I know he's going to, we're just getting started with this. We're just getting started uh, with, with this. And, um, uh, but uh, it's needed. Uh, healing and teaching, uh, healing, teaching, uh, preaching and stuff need to be done more in the churches. Uh, we got folks that's going through. I see it on a regular basis. Uh, man, uh, I'm telling y'all, boy, if we had been in person, <laughs> shucks, boy, I tell you the truth. But it's the same power. I'm just saying, because I know how I am when I'm in person. But y'all had been in person, I could have been reached out and, and, and touched someone. Oh, Jesus. Lord, her, just, look, I'm going to put my hand up here on the screen somewhere. There it is. I'm a, let, reach out and just touch my hand. I'm, I'm trying to go with it. There you go. Reach out and just put your, put your hand on your phone, on the computer, whatever, iPad, what you got. Reach out and just touch. Uh, watch, watch. That's going to be a, you're going to feel a, 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 a release of the anointing that's flowing. I'm telling you, I am, this thing is flowing. I'm going to reach out and just touch the screen. Then I'm going to blow. <laughs> Not that it is. You see. <laughs> Shucks. Boy. Boy, I felt the shifting. God, I'm, I felt, see, boy, I said, y'all better stop playing. Y'all play too much. <laughs> Jesus, Lord, have, come on, reach out and tell, y'all play too much. Y'all play too much. Look, I have enjoyed myself. Uh, this is what I do. This is what I love to do. This is what I love to do. That's why I bought all my other devices home. And I don't, I don't know. My internet went out on me twice, and my internet was still working on other computer. It's just on on a device that I was using. It just shut down because I know there was the enemy. Uh, uh, but you know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, uh, I've been in this thing a long time. I got my iPads and all this other stuff, and so, on. so uh, we good as long as got there's a replay. So you are gonna have two of them. So, so remember you gonna uh, on that. The first one I think is uh, I don't know how long they went thirty some minutes, what have you. Uh, so then we kind of like almost started over, okay? Uh, but I do thank God for all of you. Receive your healing. I promise you. Now, make sure you come back and testify. I, I, I need, Look, I need you to testify so other people can believe. See? Then it's going to help you too. See, because you you can trust in the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord Jesus. Uh, I'm telling you, man, I, I, thank, I thank God for the blessing. Look here. Uh, let me pray, and uh, I want you to do this. We'll do it again. We're going to be praying in, in the Lord. We're going to do it again because uh, I just feel, I feel led by God. When the Holy Spirit tells me, we'll do it again, and I'll let you know ahead of time, and I appreciate all of you all that follow me uh, there every every uh, Monday through Friday. Look, if you're here and you're new, uh, look, uh, hit the notification so you'll be notified when I come live, okay? Uh, Monday through Friday, 12 noon Central Time. I come on every month. Then every now and then I come on uh, just other, doing other stuff, um, and because uh, I do other stuff, you know, I do other stuff. I do business stuff, other stuff like that. But my main thing, I come on Monday through Friday, uh, a moment of deliverance with the relief doctor. Look, hit that notification. Come on, and so you can keep up with me because we talk about some serious stuff. Uh, uh, man, we deal with some serious stuff. Well, I do deliver. We just did deliverance the other day on a double mindedness, and so. I had a great time in that man. I pray y'all been blessed, and I'm I'm just super enjoy it. I just made my day. Praise God uh, for for you all hanging in with me. Uh, we got some other things that's coming. Boy, I still feel the anointing flowing. Look, uh, I want this. Is what I want all y'all to do. I want all y'all to do this at one time. I just y'all just do this for me. Uh, just put it on now. Uh, I know some of y'all already done it. Shucks. Oh yeah. Uh, I, thank you, uh, Prophet Autumn. Yeah, we got Supernatural Church, uh, Supernatural Church every Sunday night. Uh, we every Sunday now, every Sunday night at 6 p.m. Man, uh, so y'all can get on live, but it'd be a whole lot better you come to the sanctuary. Yeah, uh, man, 2141 Treasurer Drive, right there on Airways and Brooks, right there at Executive Plaza. Look for big number four on the, on, the, on the door, on top of the building. You'll find us uh, every Sunday night. Supernatural service, 6 p.m. But you can be able to get us live. Uh, you can, we'll be streaming live, so you'll be able to get it there. If you can't make it, you're out of town or wherever you're at. Uh, but uh, you don't want to miss that, man. That's just straight up power. 
so uh, I am thank God, thank God for you, prophet. And this is what I want y'all to do before we get out of here. Uh, praise God. Uh, I want you, I want you, if you've been blessed tonight, if you've been blessed tonight, uh, this is what I want you to do. I want you to write in the chat. I want all of you to write in the chat. Uh, I thank God for my divine healing. That, that's why I want you to put it in there. I'll I tell you why in a second. Just put it in there. I'm, then When I see it going through that, then we're going to close out in prayer. I thank God for my divine healing. Now, but, but because I w- want you to understand that, it's because now, now you done put it out there that you done receive something. Now, what do you believe in God for is going to manifest. Uh, what, what you believe in God for is going to manifest. Yeah, shucks. Uh, oh, Jesus. But I'm, the anointing is still rich on me. Uh, Jesus. I, I know because I, I want to hold you, so I'm, I'm not going to hold you. But see, when it gets on me like this, there's something that's going to flow. Uh, boy, Jesus. Uh, I want y'all to put it in the chat. I, I received my divine healing. I appreciate those. On the, uh, uh, because, see, there's some stuff, even though you might not got the incident right here, but before the night is over, uh, there's going to be some stuff that's going to happen. And then I want you to come back to the page, and I want you to I want you just, just, just post it in there. If it's some things you're not embarrassed about, because I know some of you had some female issues, I understand that, okay? I uh, won't put everybody in all your business, but you know, know that you receive, or you can put in that, thank God for my healing. You got to go into detail of what it's about, all right? So I appreciate you on doing that. Boy, I feel that's an anointing, Lord Jesus. All right, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, God, we thank you, God, for this night. God, we thank you, God, for what you have done tonight. God, we thank you, God, for the supernatural healing. God, that went for those that have received, those that have been touched. And Father, we thank you, God, for divine breaking. Now, God, in Jesus' name, now, God, we call for restoration in the body, in the mind, and in the emotions. And Father God, we give you glory. And Father, we even thank you for the warfare. Ah, God, uh, thank you, Jesus. We thank you that we got the devil's attention that this thing is serious and this thing is real. And Father, we give you glory. And now, God, we thank you for those who are faithful, God, who committed and stayed with me all the way, even in spite of the distraction. And Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you now, God, that you have blessed them, blessed their lives, blessed their ministries. Father, God, bless God in Jesus' name. God, we thank you, God, for you just being God. Thank you for the anointing. And now, God, we bind up the enemy. God, everything that will release God in their homes or those that release while they was here on uh, on the air. Father, God, we send it to dry places where it find no rest. Father, that it cannot reattach itself to those that would release the Lord to their families. And Father, we thank you, God, for total victory. And we give you much glory. And now, God, ah, keep us, God. As we go forth, even in this weekend, and Father, we thank you, God, that every need is met over and above. And Father, we give you glory. And Father, we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. And thank God. Look, I want to remind you that you never be broke. Another day in your life, all your needs are met over and above. You increase the stature of wisdom and favor with God and with man. Praise God. I want you to respect that, believe that, and get ready for it because it's getting ready to come. This is going to be an awesome year. Look, I love you. I appreciate you. This is the Relief Doctor getting ready to get off this camera. Praise God and get me something to eat. Uh, I'm going to shout a little bit with the Lord first. I love you. I'll see you next time. Praise God. Y'all be blessed.